You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Network supporters, make sure you check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. Link in the description. Use promo code USA First, all one word. USA First, all one word. 25% off now. All right, guys, we're going to be talking about former Buffalo Bills punter Matt Areza here in this video. As you guys probably already know, the Bills cut him because there was some heinous allegations that were actually levied against him when he was actually at San Diego State not even a year ago. Now, the Bills actually knew about the allegations and apparently they said that new information actually came up and that's why they let him go. I don't know about that. I believe that they were just trying to wash their hands of this whole situation. And now Manoriza is not on the team. But however, guys, he did play at San Diego State last year. And the allegations allegedly happened at San Diego State. Now, who is the uh, the head coach over there? That is actually Brady Hoke. Well, Brady Hoke and the athletic director decided that they actually wanted to address the situation in prepared statements. However, guys, they refused to actually answer questions and walked out of the press conference. Check this out, guys. San Diego State football head coach Brady Hoke asked Tet's athletic director walk out of press conference over Matt Ariza questions. San Diego State Athletics football head coach Brady Hoke and San Diego State Athletic Director J.D. Wicker did not bother, bother to tackle any more questions about the sexual assault allegations against former San Diego State punter Matt Ariza and other former Aztec players as they both walked out of the press conference following repeated inquiry, inquiries by the media on the subject. They did not want to answer any questions about this. Um, and it actually shows here, it says, uh, here's a shot of both uh, Hoke and Wicker leaving the press conference. And there's a video clip here, guys. It's going to be very, very hard to actually hear this. Um, I'll try to actually bump up the audio, audio here in post-production. But um, you really can't hear it, but... um. Here it is. All right, guys. We appreciate the time. Thank y'all. Now, that was hard for me to even hear, but um, I did hear uh, Brady Holt say I was not aware. I'm assuming that he's actually talking about the allegations that were actually levied against uh, Matt Ariza. But these guys, man, this is not a good look right here. Not a good look. I mean, this happened under their watch. And they're acting like they never heard about any of this. But guys, allegedly, the girl actually went to the police like roughly um, like a day or so after the allegations actually did happen. Now, I am wondering, though, I'm not saying that she's lying. I'm not saying that she's telling the truth, but I do question why is the news coming out now when a man actually makes it to the NFL? Why is it coming out now? Got a lot of questions, guys, but um, this this is just really, really crazy here that um, it's all coming out now. I got a lot of questions about this. It says uh, San Diego State football has found itself in mesh in the Matariza story. Late last week, news broke out that the then, then Buffalo Bills punter was accused of gang you know what to a 17 year old girl in 2021 when he was still a part of San Diego State football. Uh, the Bills reportedly were aware that Ariza uh, was being investigated when they made the, the decision to cut veteran Matt Hack, a move that essentially installed Ariza as the team's punter. Aldo Ariza, who has already been released by the Bills, is no longer a player for San Diego State. That the alleged incident occurred during the punter's time with the Aztecs will always be a reason for the media, as subject to the media will always feel obligated 
to raise when speaking to anyone of ranking uh, San Diego state officials. This all comes in the, into the picture just when San Diego State football is only days away from the from opening their 2022 college football season at their at home against the Arizona Wildcats this coming Saturday. Uh, the Aztecs are coming off a memorable 2022 campaign in which they won 12 games and won the Frisco Bowl. So, guys, what do you think of this? What do you guys make of Brady Hoke and the athletic director not answering any questions about the Manoriza allegations? Not a good look to me, guys, but um, that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let's so stick about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.